like this and get some uh, publicity for the show. Speaking of Zaza Pachulia, the uh, MRI on his sore right heel Wednesday came back negative, so he should be good to go, punk ass Zaza. Uh, next game between the Golden State Warriors and San Antonio Spurs is not until Saturday. This is the time of the year in the playoffs. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. This is the time of the year in the playoffs where they start spreading these damn games out, and it gets worse and worse the further we get in the playoffs. They don't play again until 9 p.m. Saturday night. Uh, Warriors once again. On the road, taking on the San Antonio Spurs. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Show.com. We'll get into the Savar Ball latest developments here in a second. But right now, let's read some messages in the chat room. 2005. Uh, my man, uh, Clay, stay in your lane, Davis, says the Spurs fan name is Juan. Yeah, it is. From LD, Romper Ninja, please, from the D. He says, stupid. Uh, from Clay, stay in your lane, Davis. No, he doesn't have a case if he didn't read the back of the ticket. Uh, from Sid, Snow Bunny Killer Jackson. That's for Zaza is dirty, and that was intentional, no doubt. How is this punk bastard going to sue? This is actually a joke, uh, I think. Wody Ninjaville Weedy Man 504, Get Rich or Die Trying was fire. The massacre was good, but the game album, the documentary came out after that, after the massacre, and I put the massacre back on the shelf once the game CD came out. Any album after the 51st 2 was trash. Like, I don't even remember him doing a lot of music after the first two. And you're right. The uh, the first one, R- Get Rich or Die Trying, was the one that, you know, everybody talks about. When he first came. What was that track he came out with? Um, the Art of Robin? Where he dissed and talked about Robin, all of the different, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the different uh, hip-hop stars or whatever. When he first came out. You remember that? I think that was kind of like. That that was on the B side of something, somebody else's uh, CD or maybe like a guest feature or whatever. But that got a lot of play, and that's when everybody was introduced to the great 50 Cent, the art of robbing and stealing or something like that, I think it was titled. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. From, um, let's see, Chucktown Frank, Duck and a lawyer that finished that last in his class or is still in two <laughs> in his second uh, law year talking about the attorney mr Kennard from uh, clay staniel lane davis Corey, this dude is wrestling or wasting his money they have rules on the back of the ticket saying that some players might not be on the court for entertainment purposes from kc this just in a falcon fan is suing tom brady and the new england patriots i swear to you kc i hadn't read your comment before I made my statement a couple of uh, minutes ago as well, Falcons should sue the damn Patriots for being some cheating bastards, which are about to you know turn over a new leaf as they drafted Derek Rivers, who's going to bring a lot of class to that organization. <laughs> That's right. It's going to be a whole new air of class around that Patriots organization now that they have Derek Rivers. From Big L X Squad. Good morning, Big L X Squad. I'm suing the Stewies that don't eat potato salad. <laughs> What's this potato salad talk today? Is Ninja in there talking about some damn potato salad? If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, Stewies, man, there's a lot of little storylines that have been going on for the last two years. One of them is this fascination by actually one of the show hosts of the network, that Ninja, about potato salad. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's a metaphor for something else, but that's neither here nor there. Let me grab a call. Caller, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? This is Big Apple Bastard, the leader of the caucus of Ninjaville. Um, good morning, Big Apple Bastard. No, I ain't say Black Caucus. Black Caucus in Congress. Got to say Black Caucus because they, there ain't that many black congr- congressmen. Right. But in Ninjaville, we all black, so... <laughs> I don't got to say black 
Uh, all right, man. Good morning, Ninja uh, or or Big Apple Bastard. I'm confusing you with the other militant in the chat room. Uh, what you got, sir? Yes, sir. I want to see if I can. Uh, I got two things. One, I want to talk about Christine Leahy and Laval Ball. Okay. And uh, also, I want to see if I can finish the second half of my phone call yesterday. We got disconnected. Right. I think um, your phone your phone dropped. I think. Right. Right. Um, because I didn't get my trivia question yesterday. Well, all I right. want to know if I could well, go ahead and get my trivia question. Well, a- um, actually, <laughs> actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, you hung up before getting the trivia question. We discussed this. You can go back and listen to it. I mean, so. Oh, nope. okay. Well, well, I don't know if you heard um the little sound bite about Christine lately, because Christine Leahy and Laval Ball, Laval Ball, he was on um the Cowherd show yesterday on Fox. Uh huh. Right. Right. And now, he he told the producers, I don't want to talk to this chick, Christine Leahy, <laughs> right. because because she said, I don't, I don't see why I, I wouldn't buy the big baller brand because they don't serve, they don't have no clothing for women, right. which is not true, which is not true. So he gets on the set and he tried talking to Cowherd, but she tried to provoke him, saying, ask why you don't speak to me, this, that, he said, hey. Stay in your lane. I don't want to talk to you. You scared me. Blah, blah, blah. And right. everything that man said to her, she turned it against, oh, you disrespecting women. Right. Oh, you threatening, you threatening me. Right. So, I mean, hey, man, the ball ball need to watch. He must be doing something good because they coming after him hard. So, I'm rooting for the man, but I'm, he need to watch it, man. They coming after him hard. It's something he's doing they don't want. Yeah, yeah. Good, now, good um, point. I'm, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more after we let you go. But uh, go ahead with your call. Trivia question. Can I get a football question, sir? Man, today ain't no damn trivia question day. Turn your ass around. That's yesterday. It don't work like that. Your ass is late. What's the answer? Wednesday is Wednesday. You don't come on here and dictate when you get your trivia question or not, Jack. Lee, <laughs> new to the Doug Stewart show. That guy that was just on the line, man. I mean, he uh, I, he kind of like that crazy ass cousin, that always in some shit, and you just pray that he get right. But that guy that just came on right now, man, just now is the menace of the Doug Stewart show chat group. <laughs> But anyway, back to his uh, his point, man, about the Christine Leahy. I did see the video online on social media. Um, I have not seen that show, one minute of that show, and maybe it's on during the same time that I'm on, and that's probably why. But I always see, like, little clips on social media. And uh, Big Apple Bassett's point about the co-host that was with Colin Cowherd, like, what was her problem? She clearly had an agenda. She clearly was trying to provoke this dude and going off on her. And um, I think that, you know, a lot of people are going to take it the wrong way because they want to take it the wrong way. But Big Apple Bastard appropriately described the situation. It, it, the chick, the young lady, I, don't know, I, guess I, should, I guess I shouldn't call a chick in this situation because then I'll be a hater of women. Um, the young lady, her name is Christine Leahy, was very provoking. It clearly was a case where she was trying to start some type of rough, uh, ruckus or whatever between her and LeVar Ball. LeVar Ball, you know, he's over the top, big, rambunctious personality, and he wasn't having it. You need to, it's, it's hard for me to describe it. You need to go back and look at it. But, yeah, she even tried to twist up his words and say that you are, that, that, that you threaten me and, um, you know, why are you not trying to sell products geared towards women? And, and LeVar's trying to ignore her. And LeVar had already says, you're a hater. I'm not talking to you. I'm here talking to Colin Cowherd. And it became this big, ugly thing. And at the end of the day, you know, he was trying to make him look at, like he was the bad guy. And, and as the title of the show says, you put a microphone in my face, I'm going to talk. They continue to put a microphone in front of this guy's face. The last time that we talked about LeVar Ball, um, you know, it, it, it was a lot of y'all and a lot of the con- conversation was, 
Why does this, is this guy still in the news? Why did they continue to talk to this guy? And I explained to you then, they continue to put a microphone in his face. <laughs> This is a case point, and the reason they had him on yesterday was to talk about, you know, uh, Alonzo being, you know, probably in position to get drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. They actually had a videotape of when they had the draft lottery, and they showed the family their reaction when the Lakers got the second pick in the draft, when it was revealed that the Lakers got the second pick in the draft. So they were good. They were Gucci. You know, chances are this kid is going to play for the Lakers. This is what we wanted from the very beginning. So that's why they had him on Colin Cowherd's show. But they also had him on that they knew that something like that would happen and people would click on the story. I continue to tell y'all, why y'all talk about this? Why y'all talk about this? Well, Doug, why you talk about this? Because that's what people are talking about. That's the reason that Fox Sports had this guy come on again so that y'all can continue to talk about it. Perfect example. Perfect example. And we ain't the damn Lone Ranger. We're going to talk about it, too. But you need to see the video, man. Um, You know me. I'm a fan of LeVar Ball. I think this cat is crazy as a fox. You know, I think there's a method to the madness. Talked about how many sales of the sneakers that they have already, man. I'm a fan. I'm hoping this guy wins. You know why? Because this cat is what they're doing, uh, what they call fighting City Hall. And ever since the sixth grade, when I organized a boycott for for the way that we were treated and the food that we were getting in the cafeteria. <laughs> That's a true story, too. My mother would tell you it. Ever since the sixth grade, man, I've always been a guy that loves to fight City Hall. you damn right. Public Enemy wasn't the first one to say fight the power. I've been fighting the power a long time. When I get a freaking speed ticket, when I get a traffic ticket, I go to court with a lawyer. This guy is fighting the power, man. And he don't give a F. That's the other thing I love about him, man. This guy don't give a flying F. And as of right now, they are winning. I continue to remind y'all, it might not happen. I continue to remind y'all, a lot of y'all, a lot of people thought that Richard Williams and Earl Woods were crazy too. That may not happen. This kid may not be that type of transcendent player. That may not happen. But remember, a lot of y'all thought they were crazy too. Back in three minutes to Doug Stewart Show.
money, you bowing down to this money, money, you're doing something strange for the future change. We're living in a nightmare. Oh.